Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home. And in today's video, I am so excited to share with you six DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts. So this is another episode in my huge I Love Fall series. I'd love to share with you guys how you can make your homes boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. You guys subscribe to this YouTube channel, comment down below. I have a ton of giveaways going on for you. So don't miss out on that, but let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to make a super adorable Dollar Tree stuffed witch hat. I'm just going to take this pillow stuffing and I'm going to stuff it into the Dollar Tree witch hat. Then I'm going to take one of these Dollar Tree placemats. I want to cut the center of the placemat out. You could really use pretty much anything, cardboard or even a paper plate. I'm then going to hot glue the placemat to the base of the witch hat. Then I want to really doll up this witch hat and basically I'm just taking some ribbon hot gluing the ribbon to the base of the witch hat and then kind of ruching it and hot gluing it as I go what I want to do is use up a bunch of ribbon that um, I've either already used or that is just kind of short ends of ribbon I'm also taking some of this beautiful Mackenzie Childs ribbon oh my goodness so worth the little bit extra that I paid I actually found it during the barn sale but you can actually get um, check ribbon on on Amazon, fairly inexpensive. I'm also taking this beautiful dazzling jewel. I get all of my jewels from totallydazzle.com. They sell them in 10 packs and they're about a dollar fifty each and they're so beautiful. And if you guys have bought jewels, you know they're fairly in, they're fairly expensive to find. I'm also taking this super cute little Dollar Tree pumpkin and then I'm adding in some scrap lace. You guys, I really want to glam this hat up and make it look like almost a centerpiece and actually I think that's what I'm going that's what I'm making here is a fabulous over the moon centerpiece something that you could really set anywhere and just make it feel absolutely wonderful festive and over the moon fabulous I decided to really go over the top on my witch hat and add more pumpkins on the other side as well as jewels and some sparkling Dollar Tree ribbon. Go for it. This is a great way to use up those holiday scraps you may have laying around thinking, gosh, why did I buy so many supplies? Well, you did it. You guys have a way to use those supplies. Trust me. Now I'm using it under my fabulous Halloween fall tree that I created in my studio. I added some little leaves underneath my fall Halloween tree and then I'm using these cute little Dollar Tree witch legs. I'm just going to kind of set them up. I may actually pop them into a basket to kind of keep them a little bit more stable but here's just a fun little DIY idea. Pop those witch legs in and then you can set your hat on top of them. Kind of like Glinda the Good Witch has landed to save the day. Kidding, all kidding aside but how fun is this? Oh my goodness, I just thought this would bring some joy to my little studio as I begin crafting for the holidays. And it's just a great way to repurpose and reuse what I already have on hand. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to take this Dollar Tree cutout. It's just one of those cat cutouts and I actually had already chalk painted it white and I let the chalk paint dry. You can really use any paint. You can just kind of lay down a base paint and then I'm taking this Sharpie marker and I outline the little cat eyes. Then I'm also going to do an outline of some checks. I want to give it kind of that Mackenzie Child's flair with some checks. So I'm using this painter's tape and I'm going to do stripes down my little cat and just think you guys can really customize this to suit your fancy. So choose whatever colors you're decorating with for or the holiday or whatever colors you have as your kitty cat. Um, I actually have a black cat, my Tinky the cat. So I'm going to be making a black cat with black and white checks and a little cute um, black face and tail and booties. So I'm using black paint to do the black and white checks and Dollar Tree actually 
has a black chalk paint. That's what I'm using on this one. You really could use any chalk paint on these little wooden cutouts and take a deep breath with these wooden cutouts. I've always really been afraid to do these, like maybe I'll mess them up, but you know, honestly, they're a dollar. So get out your paintbrush, be brave, go for it. The worst thing that's going to happen is, you know, you're going to have to paint over it, but I think you guys might be impressed with your work. So have fun with it. Give yourself grace and go for it. Now I'm going to paint some eyes. And so I'm just really using a much smaller brush to do this finer detail work. I'm outlining with the little black paint and then I painted in the little black eyes. I'm outlining again with black paint and then I'm going to go in with um, some blue. I have blue eyes. And so, and then I'm just going to use some, some white paint up above. Now I looked up how to paint eyes and that's really how I've been practicing doing my eyes. I did get a little bit too much paint on there so I had to let it dry and then go back in and paint some more. Now I'm also going back in with my McKenzie Child checks and I'm adding in and dragging a little bit of white and gold into that. That's how I do my checks. Um, that's kind of how they do theirs. If you've ever had any of their pieces you'll see that they have a little bit of white and gold um, dragged into some of their black squares or into some of their white squares they'll have a little bit of white and black gold dragged into that. So now I'm painting my little happy jack o' lantern with some pumpkin orange and I did drag in um, some black and some gold just for some dimension as I went around. I gave the little stem a happy little gold stem and I also added a white little dot for my cat eyes to make them come alive as well as some black highlight on the top of her ears. Now remember I am doing my kitty cat in a black style with her little booties and this is my little Tinky the cat. She's my black kitty, my little resident at my home. Um, she's my little doll and she is finally getting used to Bear, our little buddy Bear. She is so sweet. Goodness gracious. She's been so, so patient with him. They're so funny in the morning. Um, Tinky just waits and waits and waits um, for Bear to kind of to play with her, but they're really still kind of getting used to each other as far as play style is concerned. Tinky's like really chilled out and Bear is just really barky. And so she's just really not having it quite yet. <laughs> And there was probably the cutest picture that I got of the two of them just kind of really just reaching out to each other. So here is my Tinky the cat um, little goodness over there. And I realized I didn't finish fixing um, her leg there. Anyway, check it out. Popped in to this whole little kind of a fall Halloween tree that I popped into my studio. I'm so tempted to take this in to my house. I was just so loving it. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I have to share with you guys this cute, adorable little LED lantern. I think it's actually supposed to be like a little Halloween lantern, but I'm going to make it in to like a Halloween slash Christmas lantern. I'm going to take this little Buffalo check plaid it's kind of like a little mini ribbon and I'm going to hot glue it to the base of this lantern and then trim it off. I'm also going to hot glue some to the top of this lantern. I'm actually going to make it into like a glam farmhouse lantern. Um, these are really cute. They're from Dollar Tree and then I want to take and make a double loop shoelace bow. So you just take the ribbon and you double it up and then you just tie a bow like you'd be tying a shoelace. It's so super duper easy and it makes this really cute adorable bow it looks kind of fancy but it's so not and it's so easy to do you guys can totally do this and then you just trim it off and then there will be an extra loop here at the bottom and you just take your scissors and you cut that extra loop so then you're going to actually be left with two tails this is kind of just like a little funky bow that I had to share with you guys and then the next thing I want to do is just hot glue that kind of to the center part of the lantern here and this looks so high end and fun and it's the perfect size for an ornament. I wish I would have got more of these. Hopefully I can find more of these at my Dollar Tree. And then I decided to use one of those glam jewels from totallydazzle.com. You guys, they have the best glam jewels. I'm going to link um, their website in my description box below. You're going to have to check them out. They have the best deal and I use the heck out of them. Okay, so here it is popped into my Christmas tree or my 
fall Halloween Christmas tree, but you guys know I'm already thinking about Christmas and the holidays. I love having a Christmas tree up in my studio. It just has such a warm glow. And then check out what I did with this Death by Candy jar. I just pop some little candy corn into here. Dollar Tree is actually carry, carry my favorite Brock's candy corn. Candy corn, if you guys like candy corn, it is the best. And then I'm just using one of those little Dollar Tree Death by Candy candy jars. So fun and fabulous. And oh my goodness, thank you. Shout out to, to my girl, Cheryl. She surprised me and sent me these Mackenzie Childs candles. Oh my goodness. I love you so much, girl. That was such a sweet thing. They just popped into the mail and I was so blessed by them. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I have to share with you guys this cute little wooden heart cut out. These are the Crafters Square. And again, this is kind of be one of those kind of dual purpose, um, ornaments. I'm just going to take my painter's tape and again, I am going to trace out some checks. I'm thinking Halloween tree, but also these are going to translate into um, a Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and paint some checks here um, just by using the painter's tape and painting this checkerboard pattern. You guys, the sky is the limit. You know, I have been in love with the Mackenzie Childs style now for the last couple of months, and I'm definitely going to do a Mackenzie Childs inspired Christmas tree somewhere in my house or my studio. So might as well get a jump start, right? You guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and paint these black and white checks. And this actually, I did not put down a base coat of white. So I ended up having to paint the white checks, except for my camera, um, clicked off. So you're going to see me now going ahead and going back in and painting the white here. So I just did the black and white, and then I did drag in a little bit of gold in here, and I did add some Harlequin ribbon to the top. Let me tell you guys, Harlequin ribbon is at Hobby Lobby. So if you use your coupon, you can find a really good deal on it. Just a little side note there for you guys know, I'm always trying to scope out the absolute best, cheapest deals on everything for you guys, especially when it comes to some of these dupes on the more high-end designer stuff. So I'm just going back in again and touching this up just to make it look a little bit more fabulous. And then again, I'm going to add a cute little buffalo check plaid bow to the top of this. And then I think even now looking back on this, it would be cute to put like a little glam jewel to the top of this. Um, but this is so cute and I wanted to keep the colors really neutral. Although if you wanted to go fall, you could go fall or Christmas, you could go Christmas. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this super adorable happy jack-o-lantern and I'm going to add a cute little tuxedo bow. So I'm just taking the ribbon and looping it over on itself and this is the actual Mackenzie Childs ribbon it is so high-end you guys the quality is really 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 nice it is very pricey I did get it on the barn sale so it wasn't nearly as pricey as when you look on their website now you can find a checkered ribbon at Hobby Lobby or also on Amazon that's not as expensive um, or again you could find some Harlequin ribbon at um, Michael's or a Hobby Lobby you could check there or Buffalo check plaid is totally fine too. I've been using that in place of this more high end, but I thought it would be so cute on this little adorable happy jack-o-lantern and to give you guys this pretty DIY. Um, so you're just going to tie it off in the center on that bow and then twist your little edges here and then just make that pretty dovetail in by cutting your triangle up in the center. And this is just how I'm going to doll this up. The other thing I thought that would be really cute to do, if you guys have some fake eyelashes and I realized this once I got done editing the video, it'd be so cute to add eyelashes to her little eyes. So pop some fake glam eyelashes on this baby girl and it just makes her so fun and fabulous. If you want her to be a girl and be fabulous, I just thought that would be so cute. So, you know, hindsight 2020, um, I may go back in and do that for for her, but how cute is she? I just think she is the most happiest little cutie pie. I also think it'd be really cute to paint some like little checks or stripes down the side of her. Um, I don't know, comment and let me know, what are your ideas for this Jack lantern You guys know I love to go so over the top. I just feel like the bow just wasn't quite enough for me, um, but there's only so many hours in the day as well, and I really love to get so many DIYs out for you guys. I also did add a cute little um, hanger there and then popped her into this tree and I just thought she looked so super, super adorable. And then there is that fabulous witch hat down there. Oh my goodness. And then so many bows added. And 
I am going to share with you guys how I put this whole tree together. It came out so super adorable and it is so festive. I had no idea how much I was going to really love having like a fall Halloween tree, but it was so fun to put together because I had so many goodies on hand and I knew with all those goodies, I didn't want to let them go to waste and just sit in a box. I really wanted to pull everything out and make it super fun and just festive in my studio. And let me tell you, this is a great way to do it. And then it's also a great way to take inventory of your Christmas lights. So I was able to get my Christmas tree out and plug everything in and everything worked. Thank goodness. <laughs> For the next DIY, I'm going to share with you guys how I put together a Halloween fall Christmas tree. And there he is, the star of the show, my little Benji bear, my assistant. I did hold him the entire time and then put him back up. I didn't want him, you know, getting any of the flocking in his mouth. Um, but this is the T38 Walmart flocked Christmas tree. It's pre-lit and it's six and a half foot. I do have a lot of people ask me where I got this Christmas tree. So there's the information for you guys on that I do try to touch every branch and I also have that amazing little Dyson vacuum again that was on um, the Black Friday special so I'm taking this Dollar Tree deco mesh and this is the 21 inch wide deco mesh lo and behold I was shocked that I found it I'm not using anything to attach the deco mesh except for the branches and here's the demonstration here you take the evergreen branches and you just twist them together so you just cross the branches over on themselves and the deco mesh you just kind of push it in and then twist it over on itself I hope that makes sense if you're nervous about it staying you can always use some pipe cleaner or a wire but the deco mesh has a tendency to kind of stick in there it's totally up to you what you're comfortable with so I kind of wound it around the tree and kind of created like little poofs and then I'm winding it back around the tree so I only used one roll of that giant 21 inch deco mesh now I'm only kind of showing it from this side I'm not going to decorate the back end of the tree that much it's really more for show in my studio but if I were to do a full tree like in my home I would probably end up using two rolls so just a little side note there for you guys on that I do end up using a little bit in the back but again it probably I would want to fill, fill it out a little bit more and just use two rolls but there's a little side note on that now I did use black and then I'm going to go in with some white again this is the Dollar Tree deco mesh the 21 inch and I'm starting at the top and then just kind of bubble winding my way around so and I mean bubble by pulling that mesh out and crisscrossing the evergreen branches around and then kind of winding it down there's really not a whole rhyme or reason except for kind of this crisscrossing pattern that I'm using so you can see I'm starting at the top and then I'm just kind of winding it down and around and I love using deco mesh I'm kind of old-fashioned 80s 90s girl I love the big kind of fluffy poofy bows that's my style style you guys if you like something different go for it but you're here so this is how I love to decorate and how I love to go totally over the top that's just me and again I use all of this one full roll so for the entire tree I used two rolls now I'm taking that Dollar Tree Buffalo check plaid ribbon and I used one full roll of the both Buffalo check plaid ribbon and then a little bit of another roll that I had I'm also using this burlap it's from burlapfabric.com I'll leave the link down below I do have a $5 off coupon with Olivia 2020. I'm layering it together. And again, I'm just using the branches and twist tying them on top of each other. Here's the demonstration for you on that. I'm pulling them out in about 12 inch poofs and then just kind of winding them down the tree. Again, kind of using that crisscross method. I like to find where the mesh spots are and find that spot. I hope that makes sense. Comment down below if you have questions. I'll do my best to kind of answer. Um, but again, I just kind of find a little pattern and go for it. Now I'm taking this beautiful ribbon that I found at Michael's. I used one roll and it had, I believe, um, 25 foot on the roll. And the same thing, I'm just attaching it with the evergreen branches and I'm layering it on top of that burlap ribbon and just kind of pulling the poofs out. And it kind of looks a little bit of a hot mess, but it's gonna all come together in the end as I add the ornaments and the bows as I go along. 
long. So just take a deep breath and have fun with it. And I do kind of do a bit of a crisscross pattern as I go. Now I'm finishing up the crisscross ribbon pattern and I'm doing my little happy dance jig because it's kind of coming all together a little bit better than expected and it's super fun and happy. I've never combined the buffalo check plaid with the polka dots. You guys can go back on some of my videos from last year and see how I did my Christmas tree. I used a lot of buffalo check plaid. So you guys totally laugh at my um, happy, crazy, funny mom dancing. I'm actually completely laughing at it too, but I thought I'd leave it in just to give you guys the laugh of the day um, but super fun and fabulous and then for the next DIY I'm going to share with you guys how to do my Olivia bow this is no tools required you're just going to take your ribbon and loop it over on itself and I'm using a 14 inch um, long ribbon here so just loop it over on itself and I like to loop it over on itself three times so continue to take this ribbon and loop it over on itself I know I'm probably repeating myself on on that but that's what you do this is such an easy bow you can totally do this you're then going to cut that off and then you're going to find the center of your bow find your center right here now the next step is you're going to cut little bitty tiny notches in the center of your bow itty bitty tiny notches and do not cut very big notches because if you cut through you're going to ruin your ribbon and you don't want to do that now you're going to take a pipe cleaner and the pipe cleaner is going to secure your ribbon right here because you don't want your bow to fall apart while you're making the next part of your ribbon and and I like to go about two inches smaller on the next part of my ribbon. Now I'm still doing the happy dance because I guess I just love making bows and ribbons. And I am going to do a little bit smaller on this next bit of looping. I did share with you guys that it was about 14 inches, but it really needs to be a little bit smaller. So I guess I was getting a little bit carried away with my measurements there, but it needs to be more about 12 inches. This candy corn ribbon and this stripe ribbon is from Michael's. Just a little side note there. Continue to loop that ribbon over on itself until you get about three loops on each side find your center and then notch the center now the reason you do the notches is because you need your pipe cleaner to have something to hold on to when the pipe cleaner grips the ribbon in the center you can pull your ribbon loops out without them pulling out so you don't want them to pull the loops out to where the ribbon falls apart hope that makes sense okay now for the next one you're going to go about two inches shorter on the very last loop okay sad thing here I used a little bit too much of my ribbon so I'm gonna have to go really small here and I only have one loop it happens you guys long story short I needed to have picked up a lot more ribbon on the polka dot ribbon but hey I had fun I made a fabulous tree and so I'm just gonna make one little loop here and then add that to this last part but you know what we're gonna work with what we have which is what I am known for it's what I encourage you guys to do and it's okay it's gonna be okay it's just a bow now the next thing you want to do is fluffy up that bow take a deep breath have fun with it begin to pull your loops out that's where the secret to your bows are gonna be 
pull and fluff, pull and fluff. Make sure it's nice and fluffy. You guys can do this, I know you can. Now that you have your bow all fluffed and attached, you are ready to add some goodies to the top of your tree. I found these beautiful faux kind of peacock feathers and I'm gonna add them to the top of my tree. And just add some sparkling goodies because you wanna give your tree height. That's what gives you a designer look on a budget. These were only $2 for this entire bundle, which I was shocked to find. Oh my goodness, how fun and fabulous. And then I also found these cool little witch legs. These were all at the Goodwill. So definitely pop into your thrift store, especially for a holiday like Halloween. I don't really decorate for Halloween that much, but it is fun to be a little bit festive and to share with you guys some DIY ideas. And I also am gonna use the Scarecrow. You're gonna be surprised how many use this. I'm actually gonna use this to hold my little witch hat on. I saw this polka dot witch hat and I just knew it would be perfect to do this fun little festive tree and it's actually fun because it sings and I just thought the puppy would think that was so cute and I really think the puppy is like my new baby since my son just went off to college. I do did have to do a little bit of arranging but once I finally got it on there it finally fit right. So again I had to do some more fluffing and arranging and you guys know how it goes when you're doing a Christmas tree. This was absolutely my very first fall um, Halloween Christmas tree and I really had way too much fun with it. So get out your Christmas tree, take a deep breath, make a pumpkin spice latte, have a fun with it you guys. I feel like this is the year to get super creative and do what's in your heart. Spread some joy throughout your home. We need that right now. We just need to have fun. We need to have some joy because life is so short and golly goodness this has been the year I mean, I'm telling you guys, so I'm going to spread joy here. I want you guys to spread some joy out in your homes. And if that means popping up a Christmas tree early, even if it's a little bitty tiny tree, you guys don't have to do this, trust me. But if you want to do this, go for it. The sky is the limit. So here is how it came out. So fun and fabulous. And as always, I ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be creating? recreating? I love to hear what you guys are up to.
thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and an honor to have you all here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment down below. I don't want you to miss out on my giveaways. And also don't forget to follow me on all my socials. I have Little Bees Romantic Home a Facebook page as well as a free group page. And let me tell you guys, you guys are totally killing it over there. You're sharing photos of your home decor and your DIY projects, which I know for a lot of you, that takes a lot of courage to get out of your comfort zone, share what you have going on, but did you know that that's one of the tips to becoming a more successful creative person? And if you're watching a DIY video, you're curious and creative. So I love it. And thank you guys for being here, for supporting my creativity, because sometimes I nail it and sometimes I don't, and that's okay. You know, we all have to try and trying, just getting yourself out there is the first step, right guys? <laughs> so thank you guys for again, again for being here. I love y'all to the moon and back. This is such a kind and uplifting and supporting community. I also have an Instagram page, pop over there. I share behind the scenes of my little crazy crafty mama life with Tinky the cat and my kids and my hubs and all that good stuff. So I'm wishing you a gorgeous blessed day. I can't wait for the next video. Until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.